Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna do a red lip, a white tee, and maybe some eyeliner and big lashes. Yeah, we're just gonna do a look. And we're gonna use a hodgepodge of products that I have out in front of me. I picked some stuff from Jen's Row, Makeup by Mario, Chantecaille, Dior, Lisa Eldridge, NARS. So if you wanna see a red lip for summer with the white tee, keep watching. Now, a red lip is not for just winter, <laughs> y'all. A red lip is for summer too, and you can definitely wear a red lip for summertime. Now, I'm just gonna start, I'm just gonna chat with y'all and talk about, we're just gonna chat. I received a few questions about the Jones Road Bombs, okay? And I just wanna kinda show you, sometimes I prep my face with this. And now, please remember, I have dry skin, and I like hydration on the skin. Now these balms are definitely hydrating. They are slick, not super sticky. If you use too much, it definitely gets sticky, but they're so moisturizing. And I think that's what I like about them. And it gives such a great base for makeup. So if you're looking for something that's kind of has a little bit, so this one has a little bit of color. It's the dusty pink. Dusty Rose, excuse me. The Dusty Rose gives a little bit of just some hydration, kind of brightens the face up a bit. I'm really loving, loving this. And it's good, it's so good under makeup, like as a base, just to hydrate, just to moisturize and give that kind of your skin but better glow under makeup. That's what I'll use that for a lot of the times. A lot of the times. And I forget to show that. But also, I'll use it on top of like a powder or whatnot to give some more life to the skin. Because, oh, I just personally am not one for a super powdered look. You know, that's just, I just, I'm, I like kind of a little bit more of a glow than like a glisten. And that's what I like. So I will take some of the balm after I powder and then I'll go back on top and just give it a little bit of that sheen that just looks so pretty, right? It just looks like a pretty, pretty glow. Let's talk about the red lip and how we're gonna get it. So first off, we're gonna start with a very, very simple complexion. I'm using my Chantecaille cushion. Now my Chantecaille cushion is a little light. Like I was saying in my Chanel video earlier, I'm like, guys, I know it's a little light, but you know, that's what we're working with guys. But we'll, we'll bronze it up a little bit. Even so, the Chantecaille cushion is so, so nice. And I got it out because I like it. <laughs> I really do. So this shade is in Nude. It comes with a refill and I think I'm, I'm about gonna have to open that but I'm gonna wait until I'm a little lighter. The shade of my skin is a little deep for Nude right now but it blends okay and it's pretty. It's really pretty. Yeah, I like this cushion. It just, it's so weird. Like, so, and I love, and I know, I. I usually don't like these things. These things, these little cushiony things that come with it. And it looks gross, but I have washed it, guys. <laughs> but you can use this, right? It, it just like, if you really go like this into the skin, right? Your skin looks almost flawless. It's insane how beautiful this looks on the skin and that is what i'm kind of like wow with the cushion i just really like it i really like it <laughs> and see how nicely this goes over that balm i feel like the balm's such a great base but i do feel like the jones roads balms jones roads balm jones road balms are definitely and i've said this before you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it because you know for some people it's just not their thing and that's totally cool but I think too it depends on how much you use and stuff like that too but it also depends on your skin type 
I think. Like, if you're really oily, you're not going to want something, like, super balmy like that, I guess. Or maybe you would. I don't know. I don't have oily skin. Let me know in the comments below if you like using something like that for an oily skin type. My skin type is not oily. It is on the drier side, but you know, the humidity and stuff, it definitely goes, it like, I feel like it sucks the moisture out of your skin. It's so humid here. I don't know if you can tell, my hair is like a frizzy mess. <laughs> y'all know, y'all know what I mean? I really like these types of videos. I love just sitting down and doing makeup with you guys because for me, that's just, I know we've been talking about this and I don't know why I keep talking about it because I don't know, I just really like doing it. If you guys like these videos more, let me know because I enjoy doing them. I just feel so much, I just feel really comfortable. I enjoy talking and chatting with you guys. Um, more so me using like a, t a lot of different types of products, just kind of something I like. Okay, we are gonna use the Handy Dandy NARS, con uh, not concealer, <laughs> smudge proof eyeshadow base and then put that on. Thank you guys so much for all of your sweet comments and helping me figure out my background situation. Um, my husband, my husband did get me the flowers. Very sweet indeed. But I, I think just simple flowers, you know, um, someone was talking to me about like, you're inviting us into your home and like, do it kind of like what your home would be like. And I'm like, well, it's a, a very simple home. like. It may sound, you know, it's, we have a very simple and beachy aesthetic within our home. So maybe I'll throw something beachy in the back because that's just me and, you know, what we do here. But, um, and like, you know, we live at the beach or whatnot. But yeah, let me know what you think. That's kind of just, I liked that feedback though. Like, you know, this is part of you. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. You, you sometimes forget like I don't know it's just you're putting videos together or whatnot and I'm like oh yeah this is me <laughs> um it's just me this is me <laughs> it's so funny though I mean even though it is just me and I'm sitting down and I'm doing videos or whatnot I feel like I'm chatting with my friends <laughs> you know I'm like oh yeah I'm chatting with my friends about da 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 and like I'm gonna go film and you know, it's, it really does feel like that to me. Like, I'm just chatting with my friends about the new Gucci pencil that I'm using. And um, this is in Chitane. And I'm telling you, this new Gucci pencil is fabulous. It's so good. So, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I have, I have so much fun. And that's really, you know, I love it. It's so fun. I enjoy it. But, anyways, I don't know. I don't know. Keep going, John. <laughs> Keep going. All right, so let's powder a little bit. I might use this Chantecai powder. I can't say I love the packaging. I prefer more dainty things, I have to admit. But uh, this here is, it's cute, it's cute. Um, but this is their blur powder, guys, and this is supposed to be just the most fabulous powder in the world. It's really good. But, you know, there's a lot of hype around this powder. And, I mean, I can see why. I can definitely see why. It does blur. It does blur, that's for sure. I do like it. Like, can you see this just blurring my cheeks? It doesn't accentuate any of my pores. It's really nice. I do need to put some concealer under the eyes. I've just started recently putting more concealer under the eyes, but you know, sometimes I'll do it and sometimes I won't. So if you do have that balm on, I do powder the glow underneath, but if you just want to tame it just a little bit, just put a little powder on, you know? Put a little powder on and you're good to go. It's really pretty. It just gives it just this, mm, just the right amount. Oh, eyelash. Make a wish. Now let's do eyes. Let's do, I think, oh, I had, oh, where are you? I had a few things out for eyes. I had Jones Road. This is the shade Cream. If you haven't tried, if you haven't tried these shadows, you guys, they're really good. Like, really good. I would highly recommend. 
Um, let me find a brush. This is such a good brush. It is the Smith 256. It's like the best brush, like for pretty much anything, really. I love it for eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm putting on, this is such a great neutral, and this is what I wanted, something cream yet matte, but not too white, right? Kind of more, not white, but not brown to where it looks like you're, you have like a crease shade in on. Y'all know what I mean, y'all know what I mean. I do actually like these little mirrors in here. They're actually very nice. You can actually see your whole eye when you're doing it. I love how this, so you see that? I've, I've built it a little bit and it's opaque. It's opaque on the eyes. I'm telling you, these Jones Rose shadows, people need to talk about these more. They're good. They're so good. I actually just dropped it. <laughs> All right, we're going for it. I'm going to try the Surratt eyeliner. This is a felt tip liner. I like this one. I haven't used it a ton. My favorite felt tip eyeliner is by Tom Ford. It's the best eyeliner. It's the dual ended one. It's so good. But you know what? We're going to try this out. And hopefully I don't make a mess on camera. Wow, that looks good. <laughs> I'm like, that looks good. You know, Natasha Janona just came out with a black eyeliner, like liquid liner. I'm kind of curious about it now. Okay, so we have the eyes done, I believe. I believe we are finished with the eyes. Just making sure the, br the brows are in place. I'm going to use my Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Enlightening Blush. Now, I don't know if you guys saw the... The craziness that happened while I was while I was filming but one of them just like whew, like everywhere and uh, they did refund me and I wanted to let you guys know that but I, they were very very kind and apologetic about that happening but I you know I don't know it was crazy it was pretty crazy how that happened. Um, I think I'm gonna depot them into pots. So they were, they did provide a refund and they told me to keep them. Um, they were very, very kind with that, but I think I'm gonna put them in pots. I saw Lexi did that from Lexi Jong and um, that was such a good idea. So I'm going to put, I put it on the back of my hand. This is pink soap. So that is what pink soap looks like. And I'm gonna use the classic base from Sonia G. And this is such a great, just a great brush, guys. These brushes in the, I mean, these are fabulous. They're so good. I really like them, the brushes. I've really enjoyed using them and I think they're just really great all around brushes and they're dense and I just, I like a good dense brush. <laughs> so, I mean, this is pretty. This is a pretty, pretty blush. It's really nice. I do, however, have a hard time with it lasting on the skin. So, you know, that's just, that's the only thing. It doesn't last as long as I thought it would or I'd like for it to last. So, uh, that's the only thing. But pink soap, I mean, it does look so pretty. It looks very pretty on the skin. I think I'm going to add a little sparkle to the eyes. Just a teeny bit. And this is the Dior Pearl Star. Now, do I want that one or do I want... I brought out two. Pearl Star or Coral Look. Now, Coral Look has this really pretty sparkle too. Can you see? It looks like this. Yeah, I don't know. So, Coral Look, where are you? This is Coral Look right here, and that's the Pearl Star Coral Look. Maybe I'll do the Coral Look. It's a little less um, white, I guess. A little more coral. <laughs> Not really even coral, but I guess... Um, What's the word? I don't even know what the word is for it. 
I am going over the eyeliner because I just want to. A lot of times you normally wouldn't, but I kind of just want it all over the eye just to give a little fun to it, right? It's just a little bit, just a little bit. Because I always like, you know, it's summer, it's fun. Why not? Who cares? Let's make up. That is Coral Look on top of that. I don't know. Uh, let, me, let me go over my eyeliner a little bit. This is why I like to play. I know it sounds crazy, but I love going over and just touching up a few things, kind of perfecting what you want it to look like. Is anyone else like that or is it just me? I mean, when I have time. This is not normal. This is me playing having a good time chatting with you guys about makeup. This Surat eyeliner, you guys. No wonder it's a cult favorite. I mean, it's legit, right? That is nice. Okay, now, we're gonna go in with the red lips, but I am gonna go in with the red lip liner. This is the Dior. This is the Rouge Dior, the new formula in 999. So, I'm gonna put this on. Just right here. Now, with the lipstick I'm using today, you by all means do not need to use a lip liner, but I like it. I have the new Refer Eye Lash Curler, and I'm going to use that to curl my lashes. I always curl my lashes. I love curling my lashes. It's like a must. I feel like it makes a world of difference when you curl your lashes because it just really works. It really does. Now, I usually will use the Chanel volume. I'm going to switch it up. I know, I know, I know. You're like, switch it up, Jen. Y'all don't tell me that, but I, I, I'm i going to because I need to. Shantikai, what mascaras would you want me to try and use? Let me know. Shantikai, I like this mascara. Is there a fuss, what is this called? I don't remember. I'll link it below, but it's good. It's not like my fate. I mean, I compare everything to the Chanel. So, is it my Chanel? No. Is it good? Yes. So, that's pretty much how I feel about it. <laughs> you know, like, it's kind of one of those, like, oh, it's really good, but is it, is it as good as my Chanel? No. But it's good. I like it. All right, so that's the mascara on. You know, I think it's just a different type of mascara. It does have that like peptide in it that helps to strengthen the lashes and things like that. It's not a very volumizing mascara, but it does lengthen. So I think for me, the volume is what I crave in a mascara more so than anything but I, it's really pretty and it does look really nice with this particular look because you have such a bold liner and you know really long lashes not necessarily like bam lashes but i do like it i do like it Whoo! oh my goodness i just looked at myself and i need some bronzer <gasps> oh my gosh we have this like bold lip already like working and then face. <laughs> Need some bronzer. Don't ever let your friend go out without bronzer. I'm going to use the Clay de Peau bronzer. This is in shade two. Is uh, We need, uh, need a t-shirt saying friends don't let friends not put on bronzer. I don't know. Go out without bronzer or something like that. I don't know. I'm a terrible t-shirt maker. <laughs> but I do like this bronzer. It's a pretty pretty formula. I love the shades. I like that there's kind of two shades. One one is more of like a, a ready undertone, and the other one's more neutral. I like that because then you can kind of play, mix and match with the shades and the colors. Very nice, very nice. What do you think? I do, I have, I like this. It's very fun and very pretty. I feel like with, you know, a red lip, everyone, Everyone thinks of a red lip at, and I do too, I think of a red lip at holiday, right? We're all wearing red lips at holiday, and I love a good red lip on a hol at holiday with a white sweater, a winged outline, 
eyeliner line eyeliner and a really pretty like red lip but you can wear them in the summer too and I'm going to wear the same red lip that I wore in the winter in the summer I know I'm wearing Charisse Charisse is the quintessential red lip stick that I feel like would look good on a lot of people it's so pretty like look at this I mean right right I mean I just feel classy all, all of a sudden like I feel like I feel like I'm on top of the world wearing a red lip I, I feel like I can take on the world no, no, I'm just kidding I'm kidding no seriously I do feel I just feel more confident in a red lip this one is really nice because you know you really don't even need a lip liner it's so good and it doesn't really come off on your teeth red lipstick's hard because I'm always nervous it's gonna like transfer to my teeth or whatnot it doesn't really do that mm -mm. it does not and I love the like I love the contrast between the eye and the lip I feel like it just looks pretty and classy you know elegant and a white tee guys you can totally wear this you could totally rock this with a white tee oh and a hat oh I'll go get my hat one second right right I mean now you can't even tell my hair's frizzy because I have a hat on and I'm kind of liking that well you kind of tell a little bit over here but you know we're not you know real life over here <laughs> real life <laughs> but how cute right or or like a, a little summer dress now now we're talking now we're talking but i feel like i feel like the hat's so fun right hats are fun i love a good straw hat this one's from nordstrom i think i'll try to find it for you guys down below but i, I love this hat it's great perfect perfect little straw hat that is our fun little chit chat red lip white tee, <laughs> straw hat, flip flops, you're ready to go. <laughs> well, where I live, where I live at, in the beach area. So for me, that's where we'd be ready to go. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Let me know if you like this. I mean, this is just me being me. And when someone said that about me inviting you guys into my home, that really kind of resonated with me and made me like, oh, you know what? Let's just get ready and chit chat and talk about what I'm going to wear with my white t-shirt and red lip and fancy eyes. <laughs> I don't know. That's That sounds like fun and I really enjoy that. So thank you guys for joining me today and coming into my home today. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate you guys being here. Don't forget to like and comment below. Let me know your thoughts about you know, this video and the style of video, if you love it or don't like it, it's okay. <laughs> Won't hurt my feelings, I promise. But thank you guys again. And don't forget to subscribe if you love it. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll leave my latest video right here in case you missed it. And you can go see that and check it out. Bye, y'all.